MTV Cribs. Hopefully this one aged a little better. Like if MTV Cribs didn't age well, I'm gonna probably cry. Ooh, the biggest lies they showed on MTV Cribs. Ooh, that's got me interested. Okay, I wanna see it. Each episode took viewers into the homes of pop stars, rappers, athletes, and actors. Is that JoJo? Oh my God, girl. Where has she been? The music industry tried its hardest to make Robbie Williams a big deal in the US. Well, I assume all the fridge tours were lies. Like no one has a perfectly stocked fridge like that at all times. Like they would always be like, here's the fridge. And it's like, everything is perfectly organized like a supermarket shelf. And I was like, no way, mm -mm. no fucking way that's real. But when the time came to shoot the episode and show Ooh, off all his stuff, this, he borrowed a house and everything inside it. According really? to The Telegraph, the house really belonged to Jane Seymour. What? You borrowed a whole ass house? Jesus. All right, let's see what Jojo did. A teen pop starlet in the 2000s, Jojo was just oh, that 13 phone. when her song Leave Get Out. She was 13? No, that did not say, Jojo was 13 years old? She was but a baby. I thought she was like 18 or 19. I need to rehear that for my own fucking brain cells. Also look at that phone. Oh man. In the 2000s, Jojo was just 13 when her- Whoa, 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 whoa. That's uncomfy. Jojo really? told Huffington Post that she was so busy touring, recording and promoting her music that she and her mother were just living in hotels at the time. She added, I should have rented out a place, but no, I just used my uncle's crib. So that was me lying on cribs. I had no idea. Huh. Who's the next celeb? All right, let me see 50 Cent, what, what happened there, and then we'll move on. But one thing he apparently didn't have was a bunch of Ferraris. All three cars were marked with the initials SC. A notorious Ferrari collector who posted photos of the exact same cars as the ones that were supposed to be in 50 Cent's possession. Interesting. See, that's the one thing I don't understand is like, you're like rich. I guess even if you've got a ton of money, it still just isn't good enough is what I just uh, found out. Yes. Kitchen nightmares, baby. I love kitchen nightmares. Oh, what's the crazy cat lady one? It's that bakery that the bakery got closed. Yeah, uh, you can definitely see I've watched it before. <laughs> yeah, Amy's Baking Company. This one was batshit fucking crazy. It's one of my favorite moments. Do you guys remember this episode? It was so fucking iconic. Their place is shut down, but like, oof. This is not the clip I wanted. Like, yes, this is chaos. I want the cat lady. This shit was crazy when I saw this airing on TV at the time. So anyway, like I'm, I'm a big dog person. I love cats too, but you're not gonna see me running around like that. Never. So yeah, kitchen nightmares. Let's go, we're getting so close to actually completing this list. Now I'm like hyped the fuck back up again. All right, let's go baby, pimp my ride. I know the truth about pimp my ride is that apparently like the cars were actually real fucking shit. I actually think I've watched this video where the guy got an abandoned pimp my ride vehicle. Are we not gonna be able to actually show some like fucking footage? Well, this is a little weird. The pink fan, yeah, let's take a look at this. So this was a pimp my ride vehicle and it's abandoned. Apparently this guy found it. All right, what in the fuck, hold on. You, you can't really get in this door because it's full of, um, full of stuff. Holy for the shit. show. Oh my God. How many speakers and TVs and shit did you need in the back of your trunk? Okay, well, Pimp My Ride took your car that was like not great and they did crazy shit like that to it. That's kind of weird. I couldn't find any shows or episodes. Okay, do you guys remember the show Parental Control? It was in the same vein of Date My Mom. There's oh, no door what did handles, I just do? Door what is this shit? Yeah, so apparently the parents for parental control do not like their son or daughter's partner and they essentially try and set them up on other dates and then they have to decide if they're gonna keep their partner or go with this new person. That's like the whole gist of the uh, of the show, I guess. Hi, Our honey. daughter, Mikey, is the most wonderful girl a parent could have, okay. but there's just one big problem. Her boyfriend, right? Oh. oh. Her boyfriend is a total scumbag. <laughs> yeah, a scumbag is is a way. I mean, your his butt crack is literally fucking censored. This is Mike. She's dating Fernando. Okay. They've been together for five months, and Mikey loves everything about him. Okay. But her parents think he's a big nothing, so they're setting Mikey up on two blind dates with guys they've each handpicked just for her. Imagine how her boyfriend Fernando is going to feel when he sits down with her parents Ooh. and they watch the dates together. Yeah, I forgot about that aspect where the boyfriend sits down with the parents to watch all of this live. Oof. At the end of the day, Mikey will have to decide. I love those little Chanel earrings. Oh my God, those were such a fucking thing. Anyway, 
Mikey is about to get a taste of parental, parental controls. controls. Hell yeah, baby. God, I remember this show. Hey, everybody. I'm Mikey. Hi, My boyfriend's name is Fernando. He's cute, fun, and he always cracks me up. First of all, Fernando is gross. He yeah. likes to lick Ew. my daughter like she- Girl. We should have dumped his ass. He just fucking licked your face while you were on the phone. And Fernando's always peeing wherever he wants. I'm sorry, what? He goes on dumpsters, on cars, pretty much anywhere but the toilet. What? People do that? Why? <sighs> that was a good one. Don't touch me. Are you serious? Yeah. Fernando's always doing this stupid fake yawn like he's what? bored with the world. If this man is an actor, I'm going to argue he's a bad actor because this is a train wreck. Ta-da. Hey. What the fuck? You know what I'm bored this has of? This to be fake. His face. Absolutely. His face. I made some cookies last night. Interested? They don't look good at all. <laughs> Fair enough. I am a personal trainer. Uh, I'm not going to lie. He's really pretty. His hair is so pretty. I wouldn't want to touch it. I just want to look at it. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway. Can you sing us a love song? No, that don't make them sing. If I take your daughter out tonight. She- Ma'am. Sir. <laughs> no. All right. Let's go on the dates. I walked in the door. I could just tell he was a total gentleman. You a little sad about not seeing our daughter anymore? I'm sad I have to sit in this living room with you douchebags. Oh, Jesus idiot. Christ. I, I love that sweater, with- okay? Me and my sweater addiction's coming back out. I would wear that sweater personally. That looks so fucking comfy. This was scripted, right? Please tell me all of this was scripted. What are they doing? Oh, this is not safe. No, 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 no. Yeah! All right, let's try the next one. Oh, yes, they they chose the hair guy. They chose the hair guy. Nice. Sorry, I know I you guys know, don't I like his hair. I, I love this. No worries. I okay, love okay. this. This whole man is a vibe right now for me. Oh, really? He's so pretty. He would be what in my MySpace top eight. This is absolutely fucking true. Truth or dare? Truth. What's the most naughty thing you've done in public? Um, Probably when I cheated on Fernando. Oh, shit. The plot thickens. I dare you to show your kissing technique. Okay. But not with my mouth, with my hand. Really? What? Yeah. Dude, you are so sexy. So I just want to kiss you. <laughs> Is that okay? Just a little more. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> you know you like that. I, I changed my mind. I just went back to liking girls again. I dare you to get a tattoo. And I'll actually get one with you. Really? Yeah. What? Anyway, let's see what happens. Does she get the tattoo? Or are they actually at a... Oh my God. No, she did not. Oh my God, I love it. This can't be a real show. All right, here we go. Let's see who she picks. Let's get to the, let's get to the spicy beats. Our douchebags. Please don't get rid of Scarf Man. His pants are so skinny, but that guy's a nice sweater. Fuck. Jared. No. But I think you're too shy for me. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Good, I didn't want to date a Butterface anyways. What the fuck? Why, why were you mean? Matt, I love your wild style, but I think you might be too off the wall for me. <laughs> He's like, nah. <laughs> Fernando, you know I love you, but sometimes the way you treat me makes me think you don't love me. So I've made my decision. Please don't pick the, the boyfriend. And the guy I choose. Please don't pick the boyfriend. Is... Don't pick the boyfriend. Oh my God, I am so stressed. Matt. This is such a nice Yes! Day. Yeah, like, right? Like, y'all got tats on the first day. Like, you guys are dating. Sorry. I'm so glad you picked me. I haven't felt this good since my last deep conditioning hair treatment. I'm starting to wonder if that man is actually straight. Anyway, that was parental control. 